Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Mini Motorways. As a disclaimer, I am sponsored by the developers for this one. And, oh gosh, I immediately tried to zoom in forgetting that I can't do that in this game. Uh, we are in the middle of a daily challenge here, uh, which has long since expired by the time you're watching this video. But don't forget, you can go to... Come on, man. You can go to... <laughs> yeah. You can go to <laughs> the video description for links on where you can purchase this game and such like that there. Uh, it's on Steam. And it is active by the time you're watching this. So, oh yes, more motorways please, and let's connect those roads. Oh, that is an ugly intersection right here. <laughs> what was that, the Akamura? She's unmiked, but she is listening to me. What, what'd you say? Oh. Uh, yeah, our kitty Nisi is being, well, very Nisi-like, which is slightly aggravating, but 100% adorable, so it is what it is. Anyway, here we are. Oh, now we've got this bad jam right here in this section, right as I'm starting the episode. So I'm going to put an alternate road here. I don't know if that little shortcut is going to help anything. But, uh, we'll see. And I am quickly running out of time, if indeed that is going to fix anything. So here's the failure state. Eventually, the pins will get so large, like here. A pin shows up when a car wants to drive to a store. And then the pin will go away when a car gets there. Pretty simple stuff. Um... So if there are too many pins, that means the cars can't get to their destinations, and if it fills up too much, then it will then have a timer, and you need to figure out what you're doing, what with the timer and such. Gosh, I'm so sorry that I can't speak clearly right now. Um, once the timer starts, it will slow down if the cars start managing to get to their destination, so... Uh, you know, we want to keep this going. Uh, you know, I started this when there were only three hours left in the challenge, and I had to... It's been a long time between the episodes due to some stuff I had to take care of. And I'm wondering if I'm going to run out of time for the challenge. I hope I get to post my score. Let's see, can I bring up the leaderboard? No, I can't bring up the leaderboard here. Okay, that's alright, though. So, I just hope that I could, uh... Hey, uh, developers, here's a random suggestion. I don't know if it'd be super helpful, but um, for the daily challenges, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, the deadline for when you get done in the corner or something. But I think this is a specific situation because most players aren't going to be taking a, a challenge at the last second and then also unable to... Um, finish it within a reasonable amount of time. What is going on over here? This is a bad traffic jam right in this corner. I'm gonna have to figure that out before we get much further. Uh, let's see. Let's swing this one here. We'll move this one here. And then I'm gonna have to come up with another solution for this. So the problem is all the blue cars are trying to get to the south. Okay, let's use a motorway here, and we'll drag it all the way over there. Yep, so we there we go. The greens over here are now on a timer. The blues over here are now on a timer. So, okay. Oh gosh, we got timers popping up all over the place. This is the problem. This intersection right here is just a mess. Um, let's try a stoplight. Oh, I can't put a stoplight down, that's right. I can't put a stoplight down where a motorway touches. Oh, that was bad planning. Um. Let's move this motorway. Oh, I just canceled the motorway, but now... Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean for that road to disappear. Oh, shoot, uh... Uh, uh, oh, okay, everything's going bad real quick. 
Um, yep, I, I think, I, I think we are now overwhelmed. Ugh, I, I don't think I can fix this. Everything sucks, everything's getting shut down. Everyone's unhappy, no one can get to where they are, I destroyed the one, yep, there it goes. Too few cars could reach this destination in time. Your city was shut down after 69 nice days. Uh, 957 commuters traveled. Okay. Um, so what I've been doing is I take a picture of my city at the end. Uh, oh, it even puts the daily challenge. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Well, there's my score. And that can be uploaded to Steam or whatever. What is this thing? Oh, that cycles what is displayed. Interesting. I just want the date. That's all I need. Boop. Okay. So I will upload that. And then this is the frame. If you want to futz with the frame, this is what's shown at the bottom. I like having my score at the bottom. So there you go. If you did this challenge, I'd like to know how many points you got. We had... I had 957. I don't know if that's good. Uh, let's check... Oh, time left one hour. Okay, so I did make it. Let's see what the... Dude, I got 11th place! I mean, there aren't that many people playing right now, because as of today, I'm friggin' playing... Okay, I'm probably gonna blur that out, but anyway. Um, there's a name here that no one needs to say. Anyway, there, uh, yeah, I'm in 11th place, and there aren't that many people playing, but I'm, I'm proud of myself. That's pretty good. Oh, it's so good! I, I like that. I like it. Alright, uh... <laughs> Let's see, so then there's the same map. It's the weekly challenge with infinite bridges. I don't know what that thing is. Mini mysteries. Weekly choices are now a mystery. Oh, you don't get a choice about what you get. More trees and they can't be destroyed. Oh, that sounds fun. But since we just did Zurich, I'm going to move on to a different city. Um, so we've got Los Angeles, Beijing, Tokyo, Dar es Salaam, Moscow, Munich, Zurich. Ironic, we haven't unlocked that yet. Manila. Rio de Janeiro, Dubai, and Mexico City. Um, I am eager to see more maps. I hope the devs add them eventually. I don't know if there are any plans for it, but I'm just loving this game so much. It's it's one of those games that if they had a hundred cities, I'd probably play them all. So we may as well just do the next one, which is Munich. By the way, these little circles up here allow you to set your visual settings. This is day mode. The black is night mode. And then the, 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 this one, the gray, is colorblind mode. So everything is sort of united in colors, I think. Um, so you can see all the grass is green, all the rivers are blue, and so on. But I like using the special colors, so we'll go with this. So let's try Munich. And no loading times, which feels good. Lately I have been playing uh, some classic games... that I haven't played in many years, and I have forgotten how much I love the lack of loading times. I don't have enough money to get a PS5 or anything, so everything I've heard about the next gen and how they have no loading times because of their solid-state drives and everything, that is well beyond me. But there's an old racing game I was playing on the N64, which you may see on the channel, and I popped it in, hit start, made my profile, and bam, in a race, and I'm like, oh yeah! Loading times weren't always a thing in the gaming industry. I forgot. I'm... I'm... getting up there in age. So... I am thoroughly enjoying this game because it's so light. And from what I gather, I can't remember now, so please don't quote me. This game may be on mobile? Or was originally and now it's on Steam, I think? And their previous game, Dinosaur Polo Club's previous game, is similar, but even more minimalist, called Mini Metro, which is where you were hooking up subways. And that game is on everything, um, including mobile, uh, you know. So, oh, jeez. So, uh, yeah, is it's, you've got options. This, I, I always talk about the doctor office rule, which is where can you play the game in the doctor's office waiting for your appointment or whatever. Um, you know, a five-minute wait... And this game is that, but also isn't, because I just want to play this to completion every time I start a new city. I don't like just playing for five minutes, shutting it down, and then resuming. Oh, although, now that I've said that, 
Let me back out. So if I say main menu... See, it says best is eight. So if I hit resume... Okay, that takes me to where I am. Okay. So there's no way to, like, make a save file per se. And then if you start a new one, I think you're just done. So let's let's do a little, uh, little futzing here. Let's say I say play... And now I want to do Tokyo, for example. Yeah, there's no warning that my city was wiped out. So now if I go back to main menu... And then I say resume... I'm back in Tokyo. Okay, so that's something you need to be careful with. You, you pretty much have to play a city to completion. Because it doesn't... Yep, it starts me over. Ah, uh, that's okay. That was kind of a bad roll anyway for that town. Um, this is a much better roll since the rotation of the business is better. But it's something to be aware of if you play on your own. Um, it's, I don't think it's a deal breaker since any given city is only going to take you like 20 minutes if you're really rolling. When I did the stream, I had a couple cities that only took like five because I hosed it too badly so you know it's something to be aware of when you play on your own but you can check the video description for a link did i say i was sponsored i should have said i was sponsored i'll double check dinosaur polo club is sponsoring me for this one <laughs> i may have to edit that in uh hold on just in case um this is Mini Motorways, and Dinosaur Polo Club is sponsoring me for this episode. There we go. That'll I'll I'll shove that in if I have to. Uh, FCC guidelines. You you are uh, you are a pain sometimes. Okay, this is where things are good. If you can segregate the colors, then this is good because now you know the red cars don't need to be on this road, and the blue cars don't need to be on this road. So if I can keep all the colors segregated, it's going to be a nice smooth traffic flow. However, however, um, it never stays that way, but this is, this is fine. By the way, you can pause, you can fast forward. Um, the one suggestion I had for the developer, I don't like the way this is colored because like the, it's dark gray for the inactive op, op, uh, options and this kind of faded gray for the active one. Like I, at a glance, it's hard to see that. I'm actually in normal speed. You know, th this is just a bit confusing. I My suggestion would either be a little arrow to indicate which option is active or like a box around the play or just something. This is not conducive. I mean, it is once you're used to it, but as a newbie, when you're trying to figure out where all your buttons are, I think that's a bit wonky. But that's it. I mean, that's me digging for any sort of like nitpicky thing that's anywhere close to uh, a critique. I just love this game. Oh, also, there are plans for an endless mode in this game. The developer has not said how long it'll be, but there was an endless mode in Mini Metro, which was super popular. Basically, an endless mode is simply no fail. Um, you know, there, there won't be a timer for your cars to get to the destination. So, I guess theoretically you'll just have massive traffic jams everywhere. But it still might be kind of eye-catching and pleasing. Um, oh, and speaking of eye-catching and pleasing, there is a GIF capture mode here in the pause menu. And this probably won't be very interesting since we don't have very many buildings. Uh, but when you do this, it creates a GIF and renders it. And then you just click this, and it downloads to your pictures folder in your Windows folder. That's important. Not not your, like, core Windows folder, but your personal folder. Like, you've got my documents, my music, my pictures. That's where it goes. Um, and then you can just do whatever you want with it, obviously. It's a GIF. But it's, it's very nice. It's very fun to post those on Twitter or, in my case, my Discord. Um, it's very hypnotic to watch. So... Anyway, enough about all that. Let's let's do this. Let's city. I don't like playing on hyperspeed mode. It's actually not all that fast, but I guess for the sake of the show, I should. 
At least until things get really hectic. Oh god, things are getting hectic. Okay, go here. Let's just trace the coast. I didn't have to do this, but it looks good. Ah, crap. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. I need to think. Ah, stop, stop! Okay. Okay. See, this is where I start having to cross the streams. Um, literally and figuratively. I guess I... I guess for now... Just join up. I guess that might cause me problems later. It's always better if you can just keep your colors segregated. Um, I remember during the stream I had someone uh, show up and ask me if I had strategy while building or I just build whatever. I just build whatever. Uh, I tend to never think too much ahead in games like this. Which is theoretically bad. <laughs> But, uh, not so bad. Um, it does remind me there's another game I want to play. And I, I'm not here to talk about other games, but, like, Transport Tycoon just hit Steam. And all of these transport-like games make me want to play each other. Um, so playing Mini Motorways makes me want to play Transport Tycoon. Transport Tycoon makes me want to play Mini Motorways. I just want to build some roads, man. Get some business and commerce going to these cities. You need me. You need me to... Build your road so you can get to your destinations. Although the mayor is an idiot, he needs to play some SimCity sometime to uh, practice how he's zoning all these things. Like, what the heck is this? Why did you have one house for one? Oh, are you flippin' kidding me? That's just mean. What? It, what is this? What is with you, Grays? Huh. <sighs> See, these are the rich people, too. They just want to- they want everything to be away from anything convenient. And just want to stress out the- the road planner. Just trying to do his job. Go ahead. Go. Leave. I see you popping out of your little house. Oh, weird. Only the ones on the west side are currently moving. Huh. I'm- unsure how like the the timing on when the dots show up the pins because this pin just showed up I get so I guess the car wants to go somewhere first not the pin I'm just trying to figure out the mechanics like so a car pops out and the car is like I want to go here and so like this little guy is going over here uh, yep and then this little guy is going over here so I guess no one in this far southeastern house wants to go to work yet. I mean, I don't blame them. First of all, there's that thing that's going around. And second of all, work sucks. So why would you want to work? Just stay at home. Dr drink your beverage of choice. And Why? Why any of this? Alright, um, let's... See that... Okay. This is actually not great. What I should do is link these two with a bridge. Oh, I have a bridge. What am I doing? Oh, God. Uh. There we go. Okay. Alright, so now that this is happening, let's, um, let's try to unite all of this, because this road is not good. So when you delete a road, you can see the after effect is still there for a bit. And that gives you a chance to... It gives the cars a chance to find where they need to go before... Come on, man. Stop, please. There we go. Actually, no. You know what? This might... Oh, come on. Why won't you let me... Sure. I don't know if that's going to be helpful. That might do more harm than good. Can I put a stoplight there? Ooh, I can't put a stoplight. Well, right now I don't think I need stoplights anyway. Um, yeah. Alright. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. For now. Which is good, because we're at 20 minutes. <laughs> so I can end the episode. 
Holy crap. All right, we'll continue working with this town in the next one, and hopefully I can post a half-decent score. So thank you all for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode of this very addictive and sort of kind of frantic game, but only sometimes and not really. Ugh.